In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can move your green screen video or blue screen video into a different position using iMovie. Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Tech That Doesn't Bites. So you just apply the green slash blue screen overlay setting and you notice that, hey, I can't move this video around into a different location. Well, unfortunately, there is no easy way to do that using iMovie on your iPad or iPhone, but there is a small workaround that I can show you. So let's get on with the tutorial. So what you will need is an iPad, an iPhone, or an iPod Touch that's running iOS 15 or later. You also need a green or blue screen video and your own video clip. So here is the green screen video that was from the previous video. And you notice that my little green screen character right here is kind of off center on the table. Maybe I want to move him back a little bit further so it looks like he's on the table. But normally you would think that you just tap on the green screen clip. You would get the option to move or reposition your green screen video. Unfortunately, you can't do that with an iMovie. So there's a small workaround that you can use and this is how you would do it. First thing you do is we're going to make a brand new movie project first. So I'm gonna go back to our projects area, tap on the plus sign, tap on movie, create movie. And the first thing we wanna add is a green solid background. And we could just access the media section, scroll down to backgrounds, and you're gonna see a solid green background. So I'm gonna tap on the plus sign and we'll add the solid green background first. The next thing we're gonna do is we're going to add our original green screen video and use a different overlay in this particular workaround. So I'm gonna tap on video, we we'll recently added. I'm gonna look for my original green screen clip, tap on the clip and I'm gonna tap on the three dots and instead of using the green slash blue screen overlay, we're going to use the picture in picture. So we tap on picture in picture. And the reason why we're using picture in picture is because that particular overlay has the option for you to drag to position and you could also pinch to resize that character. So now I can actually move this little green screen video and make it a little bit bigger and kind of place the character into a different location. Hopefully, kind of be on that table from my previous video. And once you have decided where you wanna place your new green screen video, you're gonna notice there's that little white border around it. And I'm just gonna remove that. I'm gonna tap on the button to remove it. And next thing you're gonna notice is that the green solid background is a bit brighter than the green background in my green screen video. So what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna match the levels of that green color. So I'm gonna tap on the green solid background and you're gonna see that little color wheel right there. Tap on the little color wheel. I'm gonna use that little match tool right there. Kind of match the green levels. Now you'll notice that sometimes it's accurate and sometimes it's not. So you can also make more adjustments. You just go to sliders and kind of play around with the red, green, and blue levels to match it to the green that you have on your screen. And there's my new green screen video. So what I'm gonna do now is kind of re-export this and save it to my photos library. So I'm gonna tap on done and tap on save video. And once that's completed, I'm gonna go back to my original project. I'm gonna go back to that original video. And this is the original green screen video that's not, that's not altered. I'm gonna remove it now. Go to the plus sign. Go back to my recently added area. Look for the, the new video. And this time we are gonna use that green slash blue screen overlay. And let's see what happens. And there it is. My character has been repositioned and kind of now placed on top of the table. Now you can also use more adjustments if you, if you need to. So you just tap on the green screen video clip. And these are the original adjustments that you can make. So you could remove the green background, remove some of the corners as well. So that's how you will create a green screen workaround if you wanna move that video into a different location. Now, the downside to this is that if you ever need to make changes, you're gonna to have to go back to the project that you made for the new green screen video and make your adjustments here. And once you make your adjustments again, you're gonna to have to 
export that video back out. So it's kind of a hassle to do that. So try to be as accurate as you can when you're making that brand new green screen video. And you're also transcoding this video. So you might lose some quality as well. So that's how you would do the green screen workaround on an iPad. So next part of the tutorial is the iPhone version. But the question of the day I have for everyone is, do you like to see Apple support this feature in iMovie? Because I'm pretty sure it's very frustrating when you want to move your green screen or blue screen video around. Leave your comments below. And if you do find this video helpful, please smash that like button, hit that subscribe button and that bell notification so you get notified of new videos. If you're interested in learning more about video editing, then check out some of my courses. They'll be launching soon, so make sure to sign up for the email list and you'll get notified when those courses are published. Let's continue on with the tutorial. So here I am on an iPhone and again, this is the original green screen video with the table background. And we're gonna do basically the exact same thing on the iPhone as well. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna tap on done. Let's go ahead and create a brand new project. Create movie. And this time we're gonna tap on the plus sign. We're gonna scroll down to backgrounds. And again, we're gonna add a green solid background. And there's our green solid background. And of course, we're gonna add our green screen video on top of this green solid background using the picture in picture of overlay. So I'm gonna tap on the plus sign, go to video, I recently added, tap on the green screen video. And this time we're gonna use picture in picture. And again, I'm gonna reposition this green screen video to a different location, resize it to the way that I like it. I just tap on the green screen video, tap on the reposition, drag to position, pinch to resize button. Place it right there, gonna make it a little bit bigger. And I'm also gonna remove a little white border line around the green screen video. And we're gonna do the same thing like we did on the iPad. We're gonna match the green colors from the solid background to the green screen video. So I just tap on the green solid background, tap on the little color wheel, and I'm gonna use the tool again. And kind of match it. Now the iPhone version, this is more compact. You might not be able to see the green color at first. So you just have to go back and forth to kind of look at it first. And if you, again, you need to make readjustments, tap on the club wheel, go to sliders and play around with the levels. Once you have matched the green colors, what we're going to do now is we're going to export this video and save it to our photos library. So I'm going to tap on done and tap to save video. Once you have saved your video, we're going to go back to the original project and we're going to remove the original green screen video. And now we're going to add the newly created one. We'll go to video recently added. Tap on the three dots. And this time we are going to use the green slash blue screen overlay effect. And there you go. So this is how you use the green screen workaround on an iPhone or an iPod touch. So that's how you would reposition your blue screen or green screen video using iMovie on your iPad or iPhone. Do you want to learn how to use the green screen or blue screen overlay? Check out that video at the very end of this video. And I also have a video for anyone that's using iOS devices that are before iOS 15. So if you want to learn how to use that green slash blue screen overlay, on an older device, check out that video as well. And I'll also leave the links in the description. I'll see you next time.